One of the five forces that can affect the competitiveness and hence the profitability of an industry is the bargaining power of buyers. So buyers can pressure companies to reduce their prices, to provide higher quality products, and to provide other services. And this can reduce companies' profit margins. If the buyers are pressuring you to lower prices and you're in a situation where they have more power than you do and you have to reduce the prices, that's going to lower your profits. And so buyers do not have the same amount of power in every single industry every industry is different and buyers are going to have the most power when they're highly concentrated so think about an industry where you had 50 million different buyers okay 50 million different people that buy the product versus an industry where there's really only one buyer so if there's only one buyer they're going to have tremendous power over you because they say, look, if you don't give me the price I want, I'm not going to buy from you. And you can't just say, well, somebody else will buy the product. There's only one buyer. Okay? Now, if you have 50 million different buyers of your product, potentially, then you don't have to worry if one person says, you know, if you don't give me the price I want, I'm going to walk away. They say, fine, walk away. We have 50 million people here. You're just one person. You don't have uh, the, the, the amount of power to, to, to exert to get lower prices if you're just one of 50 million buyers. So but the, from the profit potential, you're worse off the fewer buyers there are. You want a lot more buyers. Also, if you have one particular buyer who buys in very large volume, they're going to be able to pressure you for volume discounts. They're going to say, look, I'm buying 30 million units of your product. I would like a lower price than the typical customer. So if somebody's buying in large volume, they're going to pressure you for a discount. And maybe they pressure you, they say, you know what, we want you to pay the shipping or, or provide other services because they're buying in such a large volume, you feel like you're almost hostage to that customer. They're buying so much, you have to do what they say. Now, if the product is a very high percentage of the buyer's total cost, then they're going to be a lot more price sensitive and, and so forth. For example, think about yourself. Do you spend a lot more time thinking about buying a toothbrush or buying a home? Buying a home is going to represent a lot more of your costs as a customer, right? You do think about it on a monthly basis, what is going to take up more of your expenses? Well, the home, not the toothbrush. The toothbrush is such a small percentage of, of your overall costs that you might not think about uh, costs as much as you would with a home. With a home, you're going to be one, be much more diligent about making sure you, you get the right price, that it's a home of good quality, and, and so forth. Now, if the product is not differentiated, and if, for example, with people in the U.S., when we're just thinking about buying gasoline, we just think about, okay, the gas station across the street uh, sells the same gasoline as this gas station. So where are you going to go? You're going to go to the one that has the lower price. And so when the product is not differentiated, the buyers can very easily just say, you know what, I'm just going to go to the one that, ha that offers the cheapest price. And also a related concept, if there's low switching costs, so how, how difficult is it for somebody to say, I'm going to buy gasoline from the gas station across the street? That's not difficult for them to switch at all. However, if I think about myself as being a customer, I have a doctor, a primary care physician, and it's not easy for me to switch my doctor because it's going to take me a lot of time to search for a new doctor that fits my uh, health insurance and is part of the plan and so forth. It's a time-consuming process, so it's very difficult. There's some switching costs, some time involved in finding a new doctor, whereas if I want to buy gasoline from a different gas station, that there's very low switching costs. Now, if the buyer is not very profitable, so if we're talking about the, the, the buyer's a company that's uh, losing money or they're having financial issues, they're going to be more sensitive to the price. Okay? And so if we're also an issue uh, basically called backward integration, where if the buyer has the ability to say, you know what, so, so let's, let's take an automobile uh, company called General, so we'll take General Motors. Okay? So General Motors, let's say that they're buying engines from your company. If they're buying engines from your company and they say, you know what, we'd like a lower price. And you say, you know, no, the price is the price. I'm not going to give you a lower price. And General Motors says, well, you know what, maybe we'll just make our own engines for that vehicle. We don't need to buy the engine from you. And if that's a credible threat, if you know that they have the capacity potentially to build that, that product that you were 
previously selling to them, they could just turn around and build it themselves, then obviously they're going to have more leverage. Because then you say, well, I know that that's a credible threat. They could easily make this engine themselves, so maybe I better reduce the price to make sure that they don't do that and I can keep the sale. Now, the more information that the buyer has, the more leverage they're going to have. So if we use the example of cars again, so when you walk onto a car dealership lot and you say, I would like to buy a car, if you know what that car dealer actually paid for that car, you say, okay, let, let's say that they, for example, let's say that the dealer got the car from General Motors and that they paid uh, $32,000 for it. Are you going to say, if they're, if they're asking 50000 what are you going to say? You're going to say, hey, wait a minute. I don't want to pay $50,000. I know I've seen your invoice online, and I know that you only had to pay $32,000 for this car. So I'm not going to pay you $50,000. You're going to try and bargain the price down because you have full information. If you have no idea what they paid for the car and they say, you know, it's $50,000, then you're going to have less leverage. So one or more of these factors, when they're present, the buyers are going to have a lot more power in terms of negotiating a lower price or, or getting uh, demanding higher quality product or, or services.